Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to implement parse template component in Mule application. Let's start the demo. I have created a Mule application parse template demo. It has HTTP listener slash parse is the path and I am using default configuration. Here I am using send email component. So I'm going to send the email using my Gmail SMTP server. So here is the configuration. I have provided the SMTP configuration. This is a Gmail SMTP server detail I have provided here. This is my Gmail email address. And here I have provided the Google app password. In advanced tab here, I have created a property mail.smtp.starttls.required and its value is true. Here I am just creating a payload in JSON format and payload is message email sent and here I am logging the same payload. So this flow right now is used to send the email using Gmail SMTP server. Now I will use the parse component here. So for that I will go to the core and I will search for parse template core component and I will drag it here. So I will use this parse template to build the email message body. So here we can either have inline template, we can provide the inline template here or we can create a template in a file and here we can specify a location. So I have already created a template in a file. So I will specify the location and location is source main resources HTML and this is my email template. This is a template I'm going to use for message body. That's all we need to configure here in parse template component. Now let me show you the template. So this is the template I created. This is a HTML template. Here I'm specifying the style border spacing seven pixels. So I'm using this template to create a message body, dynamic message body for sending a processing report by email. Following is the report of processing result of account update process. So right now I'm just hard coding the processing functionality name, account update process. And here I'm building how many records has been processed, how many records successfully processed and how many records failed. So this is the HTML table. Here I'm providing the status report and here I'm saying actually these many records has been processed. So like you might be reading the records from a file or you might be getting from the REST API and you are processing the records and after processing, you want to send email to specify how many records has been processed, how many records failed. So that detail I'm passing here. So here I'm saying total number of records failed, total number of records successfully processed and these many records processed in all together. And here the value. So I'm value I'm building using a mule expression. So here we need to specify mule expression. So I have created a variable report variable and I will show you in a moment but I'm getting the value from that variable and here is my mule expression. So I have uh, created a variable and using that variable and with the help of mule expression I'm specifying how many records has been processed, how many records successfully processed and how many records has been failed. So that detail I'm providing in this email and here I'm providing the detail about uh, each failed record. So this 
table will specify here right here what all the records failed and what was the error so here i'm building the failed records errors detail here so here i'm telling which account id failed and what was the error code and what was actual error so i am building this dynamically here with the help of a map function i am building the html tr element row dynamically account id error code and the actual error for each failed record so this is a loop here and in this loop i'm giving the detail of each failed record its error code and its error detail so you can have any anything in this template and mu expression will be replaced when this pass template will be executed so the here i am just uh, using the mu expression and here in this place i am dynamically building the row so i'm building the html dynamically here now here is the variable that i defined here so you might need to build uh, during your process that you are doing suppose you are processing the account update you might build uh, these uh, values but here i hard coded in this for demo purpose only so here i'm saying number of record processed so it could be fetched from database or it might be come to this flow by some invocation of api and here i'm telling the record processed successfully and here is a failed record two records failed and later i'm providing array of the errors with the account id account record that got failed so i'm building this record variable and this record variable are being used inside the template in a mule expression and then when parse template executes it replaces the mule expression output of this parse template would be the payload and that payload i'm using here as a body of the message here a connector configuration i showed you some time back here i am sending the from address here i am providing the two address so you can provide list of two address i am sending to this email address right now and here is the subject line we can say status report and here is the content content will be the body of the message that will be output of the past template component here i'm specifying the content type and encoding that is a text html encoding utf-8 let me run this application so application has been started let me clear the console now i will go to the browser and i will invoke this uh, endpoint so endpoint is uh, slash parse so let me invoke this endpoint so we got the response message email sent and here is the log output so let me go to the email let me refresh it okay we got the email here a status report that's what we send here as a subject of the email status report so here we have a status report and this is a from address g sanjeev tripathi at gmail.com from address and this is two address and this is my email two address that's where we got the email here so we got the email this is a in html format and we can see that we got the status report regarding uh, account update process so these many records failed this one this value is coming from mule expression 
and we pass the report variable and that's how we are getting this total number of processed total number of uh, process successfully records and total number of failed records and here is the failed records detail error detail so this is account id error code and error so we are getting all this detail and then we are saying please contact mule support for current resolution status of these errors so that's what we have in the template here number of record process number of uh, record process successfully and failed record and here i'm dynamically building the error detail for each failed record and this is the heading and that's what we are getting in email as well so this is how you can create email template and you can provide the mule expression and pass template will replace those uh, mule expression and you can use these uh, pass template for uh, different use cases like in this use case i use this uh, for message body this is all in this video if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you very much